mightiest warrior. The Persian Immortals. Weapon and armor in six minutes. The Immortals was an elite force in the Achaemenid Persian Empire, or also called the First Persian Empire, which stood at 550 to 330 BC. This army served as the Imperial Guards as well as special combat troops. The Immortals' army were involved in the expansion of the Persian Empire, and the Greco-Persian Wars. These troops are named the Immortals because the numbers are always fixed at 10,000 soldiers. They have a tradition and a rule that if any immortal soldiers were killed, seriously wounded, seriously disabled, or sick, it would be immediately replaced by a new combatant so that the number of these troops would always be 10,000, no less and no more. The immortal also never left the corpses of the dead soldiers in the battlefield. They always move the immortal army soldiers who are killed and keep them away from the enemy's watch. So the enemy rarely sees the dead immortals. It's as if by making the Immortals' soldiers look unbeatable. In battle, the Immortals' army were responsible for protecting the Imperial tent occupied by the Emperor. The Immortals fought in the conquest of Cyrus the Great participating in the fall of the Neo-Babylonian Empire in 547 BC, the Cambyses campaign against Egypt in 525 BC and the invasion of Great Darius into the western Punjab and Sindh in India as well as to Scythia in 520 BC and 513 BC also known as the Achaemenid invasion of the Indus Valley. In the Battle of Gagamela in 331 BC, the, the Immortals was protecting the retreat of Emperor Darius III. There also a possibility of the Immortals participated in the Battle of the Persian Gate in 330 BC. Alexander the Great managed to defeat the Immortals at the Battle of Issus in 333 BC. After the Persian Empire of Achaemenia collapsed, the Immortals were disbanded. Only sons of Persian descent could enter the training of the Immortals, after sometimes the requirement increases that is, one must be faithful to the Zoroastrian teaching if he wants to be part of the Immortals. They must undergo harsh training during childhood. Their training is heavy and hard both physically and psychologically. They had been trained when they were only five or seven years old. They must learn to survive in difficult conditions such as surviving with eating wild fruits such as pistachios a green walnut, acorns, pomegranates, and wild berry. They must also have the ability to tame a wild horse. The boys were divided into groups of 50 people and as they rode horses, mock battle, using weapons, archery, swimming, spear throwing, running and marching. They also trained to survive in unfavorable weather conditions. Herodotus mentioned that the age of a regular soldier including the Immortals ranged from 15 years to 50 years. When they were about 50 years old, an Immortals could retire and be given some sort of retirement compensation. They wore robes filled with ornaments and embroideries and colored in purple, blue, yellow and white. Behind the robes, they wore a suit of armor which was a heavy armor whose shape resembled a scale. The scale's armor proved to be less effective protection against Greek soldiers, who wear linen and bronze armor. The Immortals also wore thick leather armor made from the boiled animal's skins. The Immortals' shield is called Jaron, made of wood covered with leather or cloth and looks like a violin. There is also an Immortals who's carrying a rectangular or rounded shield. They use their shields for protection and assault. This shield is strong enough to hold arrows, but cannot stop the Dory Spear puncture of the Greek army. At first their shield is oval. Over time, they adopt a Greek Aspis shield. After realizing that a Greek shield can provide stronger protection, the headdress used by the Immortals is believed to be Persian tiara. The exact shape is unknown but some sources describe it as a cover or a cap that can be pulled over the face to protect from the wind and dust, on the desolate Persian land and also to intimidate the enemy. It is possible that the Immortals had some sort of metal helmet, possibly made from bronze and is used in combat. Akanaka, a short 35 to 45 centimeters long sword used to cut, chop, and stab enemies. 
Persian spear, a six foot long spear with a spearhead made from metal. At the other end, there is a counterweight of round iron made out of silver, for ordinary, soldiers, and gold, for officers, which can also be used as a blunt weapon. This weapon is the main weapon of the immortals and is used to pierce the enemy. The spear is usually held with only one hand, although it can also be held with two hands. Sagaris, a Persian axe of war consisting of wide axe blades or more like a big hammer, with sharp daggers at the other end mounted on a 30-inch wooden handle. The axe is light enough and can be held with one hand, yet strong enough to penetrate the armor and metal helmet. This axe can also be used to knock down the enemy horsemen and cavalry. Persian Composite Bow A four-foot-long composite bow consisting of wood, horn, and vein of animals. The bow is designed in such a way that it gives more tension and strength when being drawn and released. Persian archery was a mandatory skill for the immortals. Arrows Persian arrows are two and a half feet long and are made of pine or brass, while the arrowhead is made from bronze or iron. The immortals carry their arrows on their backs or on their hips. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.